Welcome back to my channel. I'm in a little bit of a different location today, which is kind of exciting. We are in Florida, so I am in my bedroom in Florida, and I figured I would bring you guys along and get ready with you all. So a lot of questions came in about my hair and my makeup and just what I use, especially when I'm traveling. I'm all about thriftiness, doing it quickly. I did a vlog recently when we were in Mexico just about you know how I save money on small things like my nails and tanning and hair. And so I figured I would unbox this beauty with you guys. So I just received hair extensions from Irresistible Me and it's very, very difficult to match hair extensions to look at, like I have a multitude of colors in my hair. So if you guys wanna see how I do my hair extensions, how I go from, you know, about this hair length, I'll show you guys in a second, like I'll show the before and after of with my hair down and Hot Mess Express and how I get it like long mermaid style for the beach and for travel and what you guys see on Instagram. If that's something that you guys want to know more about and know how to do yourself, then just keep watching. Now, jumping into this, you guys have probably seen a couple of photos on Instagram already, and I saw a couple of comments from you guys about like mermaid hair and all this stuff. It literally takes me no time at all to do my hair, especially if it's either already curled or my hair is straight and the extensions are straight. Like if my hair style matches the extension style, I'm good to go. So these are real hair extensions. Quick note, if you use fake hair in your hair extensions, and the way that you know is usually they're a lot cheaper, that does not allow you to curl or straighten or do anything with the hair. If you were to put any heat, like a curling wand to that hair extension, it'll melt it because it's not hair. So this is real hair and I had a heck of a time trying to guess myself as to what color would match my hair. But I have to say that the people at Irresistible Me were just so helpful because I honestly had no idea. What's really cool is worst case scenario, you can actually color the hair. That's the other thing. It's real hair, so you can color it, you can tone it to match your hair perfectly. Now, I've already checked this out a little bit and I'm pretty sure that it's gonna match my hair perfectly and I'm so excited. So this is the box that it comes in, irresistibleme.com. And I have to say the prices are super reasonable. I'll tell you guys what I got, okay? I got the 22 inch. So if you want like that mermaid long hair, 22 inches, you could do 20. It really depends on your hair length. Like I could have probably done 20, but I wanted it really long. And when I do a big braid, it looks super nice. And then it's 200 grams and I got platinum blonde. Now what's really cool is they have like the ombre collection and they have all of these different tones. So if they even have like colors like pink and stuff like that. So if that's something that you want to do, they really have a huge variety and what I'm pretty sure that this is on the side is a sample. So this is how it comes. So there is, open this side first. So I'm pretty, usually these companies will send you a sample color if you need one, but this side is open this side first and use this. I didn't follow that rule at all. Open the side first, um, do not use the full hair extension unless this matches. So that's probably your sample that you could um, return or exchange it without any issues. So let's open up the little the little guy first. And these are clip-ins. So you could totally do tape-ins. I'm pretty sure that they have tape-ins as well. And I'll put the link to all of this down below, but this is knotted, so I'll give you guys like in a, it's in a little bundle. It feels so soft. And that's really the, the color that I was going for was like a, a light blonde, so we'll see whenever my hair is completely down. And I'll show you guys how I clip it in, how I style it, and by no means am I a pro with this, and I feel like I've gotten pretty freaking good at it. Now, I used to have tape-ins. My sister-in-law who's downstairs has the the little, the ones that are like the beads that you, like the fusion ones. Um, I just prefer the clip-ins because I can have my hair up in a bun like this and not have any extensions showing. And then when I want to do my hair, which I would anyways, I just clip in the extensions and I go. So you can see how the, the clips are very well sewn, I have to say, like there's a nice seamless band there and then the clips are light blonde so you don't see like these dark brown or black clips. So they clip well, it's not cheap at all, like it's good quality. So this is the sample one. And then one thing that I do to brush out my extensions is I use one of these little 
They're kind of like a, a detangler brush. I'll show you exactly what I use. I don't use a big brush or a comb on them because you don't want to damage it because the more that the hair falls out from the extension, the less long that they will last you. So I'm going to open up this big boy here and I'm just going to show you guys exactly what it comes with. It's quite a bit of hair. Like for me, someone with thick hair, it's more than enough. So it comes in this little hair net thingy. Oh, it's very pretty. That's a lot of hair. So you can see how long, like that's 22. So let's say, so it'll go past. It's, it's very mermaidy. Listen, it's not everybody's style, but I like it. So I'm gonna clip these. I need some skizzers, some little skizzers, and then I can access this. So I'm gonna get some scissors and I'm also gonna show you guys the brush. All right, now I've opened this all up and I wanna show you guys what's included in it. So there's all different sizes, which is important because I'll show you guys how I install them into my hair and the size of the clips really does matter. So these little mini ones that are one clip each, so there's two of those. Those usually I put them down the sides, like at the top portion up here and I put them down the side so that it blends better. There's a tip from my hairdresser, Kate at Ronaldo's. Thank you, Kate. If you guys ever want to go see my hairstylist, um, I had done a full hair transformation video. I'll link it down below, but Kate at Ronaldo's is who I see. And she's probably going to tone these for me if I need to. So then there's these two clip ones, which are the ones I use the most. So there's a lot, which is awesome. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Amazing. So these are all two clip babies. So they have two clips on the side and then you can see the thickness of them. And then there is two three clip ones. So the sample was a three clip and then there's an extra three clip. So there's two three clip ones, which is exactly what I usually use. And then this is what makes Irresistible Me. This is, this is like their claim to fame. Like you could honestly just do this. This is huge, I love it. So this is the four clip piece and you can see how well structured is. Like there's like the meshing behind it very, very well put together. And there's a ton of hair on this thing. So this I usually put right where my ears, where the ear line is, that's where it'll usually go. And then below that, I have a two piece, a three piece, and then I do a four piece, and then I do a three piece, and then I, I mix in the two pieces from there. Now this is a lot. I don't even know if I'll be able to use the whole set. I kind of want to, but it, it, if you're not used to it, it'll get heavy, like it will feel heavy. So I would say just start with, you know, a three or a two, a three, the, this big piece, obviously you could go really far with this, like seriously. And the trick is to make sure that you're curling or doing your hair with the hair extensions and so that your hair blends with it. Now it has to be the right color. So that's what we're gonna test out. And this is the brush that I use. So this is a tangle teaser and it's really, really soft on the extensions. I don't go crazy. And what I'll usually do is I will pick up the extension and put it like on my leg and I will like brush it out nicely, like nice and calm, nice and gentle. And that's usually how I'll do it. And then I will use my curling wand, which is just a basic Remington curling wand. I got it cause it's pink, but it's also amazing. I got that off of Amazon. And I usually just do my hair that way. And worst case scenario, if you do see a couple clips, what I usually do to make it blend more is I'll either braid it, I'll do like a half braid and then tie it, or I'll do like a half ponytail with a little clear elastic. So I'll show you guys how I do that, how I make it look cohesive and as one, but I'm sure you guys have seen on my Instagram posts or my Instagram stories, or even my previous two YouTube videos in Mexico, how well I blended the extensions and you can't really tell at all. So. Let's jump into this. You guys are gonna see my hair length and how I do this. So this is like freshly washed and just air dried. So there's a bit of volume in it. So you can see my natural color is actually very, very dark, but the color right now that's in my hair is, is very much like a platinum blonde, but I have like 20,000 different colors in my hair. So let's see if this matches and you guys can see my hair length is not very long at all. I'm growing it out ever since having the tape ins. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip them in and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do that. And I just usually use, all you're gonna need is a tangle teaser or a brush, a big clip. You can have some little clips on the side if you really need to and your hair extensions and you should be good to go. And then something to style it like a curling wand. I don't use any product. I don't wanna put product on my hair extensions and you don't really need them to be honest. So let's do this.
right, so here is the big piece. And again, this is the, I guess you call it like a weft or something behind it, like the netting, the mesh. It's amazing. This is not going anywhere. So because this is a bigger piece, I actually, so there's, there's three, four piece typical size clips in here, but it's all in one piece and it's all meshed together. So that's why I said like, if you need to go and you just want to put one in, it would totally work. So because it's a bigger piece, I back combed it just using my tangle teaser and that'll do. So you guys will see, I will clip it in behind and I'll give you guys a close up after. Ooh, wow, he is not going anywhere. <laughs> so you can feel when you put it in, if you, if you were to just apply to apply a little bit of pressure with your two fingers, on either side, like just going like this, you'll feel if it's sliding. And that's where back combing really, really helps. So this is with, mesh is pretty well. So I'll show you guys like this is where, see I can't even find my own hair. So this is my hair and this is the extension. It's the exact same color. So I have platinum blonde. I don't know if that helps you guys. And then the cool thing about the platinum blonde one is you can tone it. So, wow, I feel like I have a lot in here. I'm gonna keep going just to give you guys the full effect, but there's still this much more hair. So again, I got the 200 grams, which is like, I think one of the most that you can get, which is, that's the weight of the hair. So what I'm thinking is I'm just gonna use two, two piece clips and then I'll be done because if you start to go too high up on your head, like I'm pretty much hugging the comfort line right now because when you start to go too high up, then if your hair shifts at all, you'll see the clips, which is like completely defeats the illusion of having the long hair. There's nothing worse than seeing the clips. So I'm gonna put two more pieces and I leave very little hair in between each clip because you don't need that much, especially if you back comb it here, I'll show you guys. So I just have a little, little bit of hair in between, about this much, not very much at all. And then the tangle teaser actually teases very well. And you wanna make sure that when it clips, you hear the snap, because if you don't hear the snap, it means that it's like halfway, and then if it unclips, well, we all know what happens if it unclips and you're in public and it falls out and you don't want that. So everything is in right now. So again, this is it not styled at all. So you can totally tell when I let down my own hair where it meets, but putting it to the side and starting to style it, and if I use some heat or if I braid it or do something or even put it in a half, half up, half down, you won't see it at all. And then another tip, if you really don't wanna see those clips at the top, you can tease your hair, your own hair at the top, hairspray it and style it into a half ponytail so that it stays put and covers exactly where those clips are. That's what I usually do, especially if I have a party and I'm going out. You guys might've seen that in the Mexico videos. I did a lot of half up, half down because there was a lot of dancing, a lot of partying, so I didn't want it to move at all. And then it's just a really easy way and you can do like two little braids down the side and kind of clip it like this. And then what I do is I'll usually use a clear ponytail and clip the, the hair extensions as well. So I'll show you guys how I do that. All right, so now we were in the washroom. There's a little bit of an echo, but hopefully that's okay with you guys. And if you hear dogs barking and babies crying, that's because the whole family's here. Now, this is my hair. This is the extension, which you can tell because my hair is curly and just not styled at all. Again, I air dried it. And then this is the extension. So you can totally tell, right? Like if, but when you style it, then it makes it all okay. And it all kind of makes it come together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it into a couple chunks. If you guys see me looking that way, it's cause I'm looking in the mirror. And I'm just gonna take it and divide it into a few chunks. I'm gonna brush it out and use my curling wand, which is at 410. Pretty, I think it's the highest, the highest possible one. Again, I went really, really fast. Like if you take your time and you want it really, really curled, you can, but I'm in super huge humidity right now, so it's probably gonna fall anyways. Now this is how I keep it together. I'm gonna tie it with a little clear elastic. I just got these at Ulta. They're just like Mia Beauty plastic elastics and they're amazing, I love them. So there's a bunch of them in here. And especially if you have blonde hair, it's perfect. And there's like a little cutter tool to cut it open. 
And then what I'll usually do is tease the top and just make sure that it all stays together. And I'll do like a half ponytail so that it just, it, that it just stays together. Like, especially if it's windy, like we were just on the beach and stuff. And if you don't want it to be all over the place, that's what I suggest you do. So grab, don't grab over top of the clip. Like if I was to do like this and expose the clip, you don't want to do that. So grab under the clip. And I usually just feel around and I make sure that there's no clips exposed. I add a little bit of volume by like kind of pulling the tight hairs out. And that's how I do it. Like it's super fast, super easy, way less maintenance than having permanent hair extensions in. And it works really, really well. So I will leave the link down below and all the information down below for you guys. If you want to see more beauty videos, more beauty tips, makeup videos, I was planning on doing one of those, please let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you have questions, I'm here to answer them because I feel like this is one of those videos with lots of questions. So I'm here for you guys. I usually answer questions within like the first hour that the video is posted. And if you aren't subscribed already, oh my gosh, go subscribe like ASAP Aru because we're headed to Disney in the next couple days and there's going to be the most amazing videos loaded to this channel. So thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye dudes.